Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer to Cathedral Church of All Saints in Halifax, Nova Scotia on this Tuesday, December 27th, getting close to the end of the year. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is our refuge and strength. O come, let us worship. I do start this morning with a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, beginning to read in the 25th chapter, verses 1 to 9. God, you are my God. I celebrate you, I praise you. You've done your share of miracle wonders, well thought out plans, solid and sure. Here you've reduced the city to rubble, the strong city to a pale a pile of stones. The enemy big city is a non-city, never to be a city again. Superpowers will see it and honor you. Brutal oppressors bow in worshipful reverence. They'll see that you take care of the poor, that you take care of the poor people in trouble, provide a warm, dry place in bed weather, in bad weather, provide a cool place when it's hot. Brutal oppressors are like a winter blizzard, and vicious foreigners like high noon in the desert. But you, shelter from the storm and shade from the sun, shut the mouths of the big mouth bullies. But here on this mountain, God of the angel armies, will throw a feast for all the people of the world, a feast of the finest foods, a feast with vintage wines, a feast of seven courses, a feast lavish with gourmet desserts. And here on this mountain, God will banish the pall of doom hanging over all peoples, the shadow of doom darkening all nations. Yes, he'll banish death forever. And God will wipe the tears from every face. He'll remove every sign of disgrace from his people, whoever they are. Yes, God says so. Also at that time, people will say, look at what's happening. This is our God. Song this morning, we'll go with 148. Hallelujah, praise God from heaven. Praise him from the mountaintops. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all you, his warriors. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, you morning stars. Praise him, high heavens. Praise him, heavenly rain clouds. Praise, oh, let them praise the name of God. He spoke the word, and there they were. He set them in place from all time to eternity. He gave his orders, and that's it. Praise God from earth, you sea dragons, you fathomless ocean deeps fire and hail, snow and ice, hurricanes obeying his orders, mountains and all hills, apple orchards and cedar forests, wild beasts and herds of cattle, snakes and birds in flights, earth's kings and all races, leaders and important people, robust men and women in their prime, and yes, gray beards and little children. Let them praise the name of God. It's the only name worth praising. His radiance exceeds anything in, in earth and sky, He's built a monument, his very own people. Praise from all who love God, Israel's children, intimate friends of God. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. And a reading from the Gospel of Luke. Second chapter, verses 41 to 56. Every year, Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up as they always did for the feast. When it was over and they left for home, the child Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents didn't know it. Thinking he was somehow, somewhere in the company of pilgrims, they journeyed for a whole day and then began looking for him among relatives and neighbors. 
when they didn't find him, they went back to Jerusalem looking for him. The next day they found him in the temple, seated among the teachers, listening to them and asking questions. The teachers were all quite shaken with him, impressed with the sharpness of his answers, but his parents were not impressed and they were upset and hurt. His mother said, young man, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been half out of our, out of our minds looking for you. He said, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I had to be here dealing with the things of my father? But they had no idea what he was talking about. So he went back to Nazareth with them and lived obediently with them. His mother held these things dearly, deep within herself. And Jesus matured, growing up in both body and spirit, blessed by both God and people. Sheba, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these. Let us pray. Remember, Lord, your people bowed before you, and those who are absent through, through age, sickness, or any other cause. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, inspire the faint-hearted, and bring the wandering to your fold. Journey with the travelers, encourage the oppressed, defend the widows, deliver the captives, heal the sick, strengthen all who are in tribulation, necessity, or distress. Remember for good those who love us and those who hate us and those who have asked us, unworthy as we are, to pray for them. Remember especially, Lord, those whom we have forgotten. For you are the helper of the helpless, the savior of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. You know the need of all and have heard each prayer Save us in your merciful, loving kindness and eternal love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of God pray for us. May the angels of God surround us and protect us. And may our Lord Jesus Christ give us his blessing of peace. And let us bless the Lord. <laughs>